933 days. That's how long it has been since I released the original Yo Cube, the cube which I claim to be the best speed cube with the best setup. And although those were my preferences, it seemed like a lot of you agreed with me. In the meantime, I even released a cheaper version, the Eco, and a more expensive one, the Deluxe version, all of which were received with a lot of positivity. I was even lucky enough to break the national record using one of them. And although there have been a lot of great releases, the focus of the Yokube was always the value. It needed to have the best features, the best performance at the best price point. And we've come close, guys. I've been super close to releasing a new Yokube, but I never was 100% satisfied with the result. Until today. Add it up. I'm happy to introduce to y'all the YoCube version 2. It is really amazing and in this video I'm gonna give you five reasons why this is the best cube yet. And I'm also gonna explain why I wasn't happy with a four second solve using this cube. Oh. <laughs> we focused a lot on speed. The base model of the YoCube version 2 is the Moyu RS3M V5 Ball Core Edition. It is one of the 6,000 releases that Moyu did last year. But this cube is particularly fast out of the box. But over the last two years, my turning style has changed. I have a looser turning style right now, which allows for a faster cube. But all of the Yo Cube releases so far focused a lot on control. That's what people loved about it. And that's when we come to number two, because we didn't sacrifice control. How are we able to do that? Now you would think for a cube that's that fast out of the box, you want to tension the cube even more, make it more stable. But in fact, for this release, we made the cube looser than out of the box. Well, it all depends on what kind of loop you put in the cube. And for this release, we made one small change to the Yo Loop setup. We still have Angstrom Dignitas, which provides a lot of control to the cube. In fact, it added so much control back to the cube that we didn't need to add weight 5 to the cube. And to speed it back up, we combined three fast loops this time. DNM37, Mystic, and FC Rush. If we then set the dual adjustment system to three clicks, the cube maintains its crazy speed while adding the perfect balance of control. Now you will notice that we added a lot of loops in this cube. And although adding too much loop makes the cube kind of sloppy and slow, because we added so many fast loops, the cube becomes super enjoyable to turn. As a demonstration, just compare the sound of a stock RS3 V5 versus the YoCube V2. And because we were able to loosen the tensions a bit, corner cutting is insane on this cube. It will cut anything you throw at it. But corner cuts aren't the best measurement to see how good a cube is. Doing soles instead might be a better measurement. And I got the best times ever on this cube. Now the reason for that particularly is a few new features they added to this cube compared to the last Yo cube. First of all, the RS3 V5 has a ball core. In here are magnets that attract the magnets in the stem of the corners, which provide an overall more natural magnetic pull. And you will notice this ball core whenever you're doing solves, because it automatically realigns the cube whenever there are small misalignments. Secondly, this cube has maglev. It replaces the spring by using two repelling magnets, which makes the cube, as a theme of this video, faster. One disadvantage though is that in 100 years, it will lose 5% of its strength. And the last new feature is UV coating. If you look at the cube, you'll notice that this cube is super glossy. That's because this cube has a special coating, which Moyu calls magic clothes, but we all know it's just UV coating. So a ball core, maglev, as well as UV coating, all combined in one cube. One thing might be missing, which are adjustable magnets. But here's why not having adjustable magnets might actually be a benefit. To give a cube adjustable magnets, you have to have some sort of mechanism either in the edges or in the corners, which one, make the cube more heavy, and two, makes the surface of the pieces less smooth. So although the RS3 V5 doesn't have adjustable magnets, the cube is super light and super smooth. Probably my favorite feature of this release is the case 
it comes in. The entire point of the Yoke Cube release is to bring my favorite version of the cube for you all to experience and add some extras to it, you know, add some extra cube head stuff to it, including the card that I fully designed myself, the robot, which now becomes a real cube head, Huh? And I even signed a bunch of them while I was visiting the cubicle. So I think about 100 or maybe 200 first to buy this cube, you get the signed version of this cube. And finally, the cube comes in a very unique scramble. The one that I'm going to discuss right now. Oh, if you decide to get the cube, first of all, thank you so much. The cube comes in this state. So looking at this scramble, we notice that we almost have a complete cross, except for this edge right here. But there's one issue. If we insert the last cross edge, this is not a correct cross, because if I align the cross, we'll notice that this is like an M2U to M2 away from being solved. But I'm still going to start my solve this way, because I noticed something. If I just do an F move, this corner gets solved, as well as this pair and this pair in the top. So how do I work with that? Well, I first off insert this edge right here, which will preserve both of the pairs. I almost aligned the cross. I mean, I made sure that this part of the cross was aligned as well as this pair. Then I straight away inserted this pair and went to that pair in the back, which was my first three pairs in what, like one second? And then luckily enough, this pair got solved. So I had to rotate at this point, but I kept in mind that these two edges weren't solved yet. For some reason, I had like the urge to insert the pair this way. I thought I was setting up a better OLL, but this is one of the worst OLL cases in fact. But there's one good thing though, because these two are the same and these two, I know that if I do the Colin Burns algorithm, which goes like this, I solve the corners. So when I rotate back, I notice something. This is the best case you can have when you have two edges that need to be swapped. Because if I do M2, U2, M2 now, I have pretty much a PLL skip. So I align the last layer, put down the cube, and I have 4.63 seconds. <laughs> One hundredth of a second away from being my personal record. And that's why I wasn't entirely happy, but still it is one of the best solutions I ever did. Now the cube is $43, but even less if you use discount code CUBED for a huge discount. Part of the price goes to me directly. So if you buy the YoCube version 2, you support the channel. And I really want to say thank you to y'all because it really means a lot to me. Like without all of this stuff, I wouldn't be able to do this as my job. So thank y'all so much. If you buy the cube within the next two weeks, there's a chance that you get a full refund on your purchase because we're giving away 10 Yo cubes to random people who buy this cube and leave a review on the cubicle.com as well as 10 random subscribers so, so if you're subscribed and you want to win one of the cues check the pinned comment more information there oh yeah we cannot forget this is the yo cube so we have to do a yo <laughs> yo i'll see you in the next one guys ciao <laughs> yeah that's good <laughs>